Hey folks, it's Rob. Uh, welcome back to Fallout 4. We're here in Vault 118, and I've done some thinking. I had a meal, and uh, took time away, and I got a couple of things I've actually like, huh. Right. So, first off... <clears throat> We see here he's wearing this tie. Uh, and everybody else seems to have an affectation that is a robo-brain, except one person. Right here. Hello, detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? Now, she has a mask. But, <clears throat> this is the only person I can actually accuse of murder. I think I... Right, here's the idea. Crazy, I think. But, I don't think that's Ezra out there. Ezra had the can of paint. And Ezra would be able to set up the crime scene. Ezra could have murdered Julia in the fight or afterwards and put her out there and adjusted his voice modulator to sound like Julia and I think that's what's happened but I don't know for certain and I know there's those of you out there who are like have sex with the robot so let's see if we can't get any kind of uh Uh, this is going to be like World World Blues where she goes, ooh, 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 ooh. Care for more stories about my acting career or something else? Uh, Nick, you don't have to watch this. I must say, you're quite the actress. What can I say? It just comes naturally. Oh. Care to hear some of my stories, detective? Have you ever done radio? Your voice is quite enchanting. Well, darling, play your cards right, and maybe I'll whisper some sweet nothings in your ear. Surely you must be here for my salacious stories of the silver screen. Oi. I must say, I've known flesh and blood girls who aren't half the woman you are. Keep it up, Tiger, and we'll find out if you can handle how much woman I am. Surely you must be here for my salacious stories of the silver screen. Nick, why are you back there? <laughs> oh God, do I de want to go on a date with a ro with the Robo Brain? Have I fallen this far? Is this where I am in this world now? The memories of my wife aren't that old for me. Uh. Christ, it's been so long! <laughs> Why don't we grab a bottle of wine and go watch the sunset? Mm, sounds good, detective. See you later, Nick. Later, that same day. Well, I, uh, probably got my, uh, gears oiled, as it were. Um, hmm. So there's an empty display case. <coughs> fence Buster, baseball bat used by award-winning actor Keith McKinney in Swing for the Fence. Well, this is where that bat came from. Ha. Huh. Okay. So. I don't know. I think my f my my theory might be crazy and cockamamie. Hello, detective. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? Tell me about the baseball bat. It looks like the baseball bat from your movie is missing. That's odd. I don't 
really know where that could have gone. Never mind. Okay. Just let me know how I can help. Right, so... I think it's her. And that is, I think that's her on the ground there. This is paint. This isn't blood. It's red paint. Which is hidden over here for some reason. Accuse her or do I tell Maxwell? Hello again, Detective. Was there anything else? <clears throat> That's not blood around the body, it's red paint. Mr. Santiago would definitely have red paint, but surely he wouldn't. Have... Would he? This is just terrible, Detective. Was there anything else? I found the murder weapon. Oh no. That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here should you need me. Hey, do you mind keeping an eye out for a second? Yeah, no problem, Nick. Thanks. What did I miss? Well, first off, the universe formed in a great moment of sudden instability. So... <clears throat> really isn't much else to check out. The quest... Investigate Keith McKinney. I mean, I think we basically have done that. But let's get it updated off. Yo, Keith. Mr. Lavender Ascot, who pines, or pines away for Hello, his uh, How can I help? manly Here's love. About the case. <clears throat> I found your baseball bat at the crime scene. To explain how it got there? Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the murder. It's probably Santiago. You saw him skulking around the crime scene. Tell me about yourself. We went over this before, Detective. There's no motive. You thought Gilda was cheating on you with Ezra. That's ridiculous. I don't care who Gilda sees. You aren't going to pin this on me. You're not the law. You're a dead man. Whoa. Couldn't take long. So, uh, he's dead. Still don't think that was actually the solution. But I didn't expect him to attack me. Uh... Can we still go talk to this lady? Hey, uh, lady! Can't accuse her anymore. I don't think it was Keith. I really don't. Well, I fucked that up.
<clears throat> hey, Maxwell. I found the killer. It was Keith. That's just terrible. I can't believe it. And after all this time. Thank you for your assistance, Detective. The residents pulled this to pay for your services. 200 pre-war money. That is a lot of money. Uh, certainly more toilet paper than I'll need this year. Well. That's that. Uh, the arrival. Let's go out and, uh... Actually, you know, we could do Hull Breach. Because we're kind of on our way there. Oh, and a level. Again. Going out the exit zone. Oh, there's a door over here I never checked out. Mm -hmm. Oh, another lovely part of the base. Yes. Just how much rubbish is piled up here? Why? <laughs> All of it. Car? What's on earth a car doing down here? Maybe this is the unfinished portion of the base? so we don't have to actually, like, make this area past here. Okay. Fine. It was interesting to come in here and just, like, have a look, but... <clears throat> kind of weird that there's cars in here. Sporty model. Now the other garage doors open. Huh. Why do they go through all the trouble of making this if there's nothing here? in our car well that looks glitchy as hell that garage door is lit I don't know if it means anything nope Well, okay. Do you mind keeping an eye out for a second? Nick, you're running those diagnostics every like 20 minutes. What's up? Thanks. What did I miss? I really don't want to keep on making that joke every every, every 20 minutes, so we're not going to do that right now. Um. <clears throat> hmm. Thank you for your help, detective. Oh, yeah, and this is like the pit full of water it keeps showing up. I don't know why you have a moat built into your freaking vault. Well, about time we get the hell out of here. Dance with me, Nick. It's okay. No one's looking. I had 
had sex with a robo brain. I don't know where we're here going, but it's a long way. What do you think, Nick? Will we be stuck in here forever? Look, if we're in here forever, I, it's okay if you, like, do things with my corpse after I'm dead. Alright? But not before. Because then it's not a corpse. It's my body until then. As they say, my body, my rules. Is there a way out of here? Are we just stuck in a moving elevator forever? Are we moving at like two inches per hour up? What's going on? Why does the needle keep flying around like this? Why can't I stop dancing? Will we ever get back to the surface? Who knows? We've been in the elevator for five minutes. Oh my god, we're stuck in here. It's like that elevator from the Stanley Parable. It doesn't go anywhere. It just shakes. Help me! I'm stuck in an elevator! And there's no phone! And civilization ended 200 years ago, so there's no one to call! <clears throat> oh my god, this is the longest loading screen I've ever been stuck in in my life. All right, we'll stand still. Maybe that's what's causing problems. Maybe I'm not supposed to be messing around during the loading screen. Someone help me! Why? Why can't I get to where I'm going? Let me out! Let me out! Please! I'd probably be faster digging my way out with my bare hands. Let me out of here! So, Nick! Hey. Thoughts? Too many folks these days count on violence to solve their problems. 
We only have to look around to see where that got us. Oh, nothing. All right. Uh -huh. This is what the elevator is like with the light off. It's dim and moody. Why don't I have legs? Where are my legs? Ah! Why? Why am I still in the elevator? How long have I been in here? So broken could be So this will be my new channel stuck in an elevator with Nick Valentine. Um everything will be being stuck in an elevator with Nick Valentine. And the music. And the grinding of the elevator. And me going insane. Oh my god, how could this possibly be taking this long? Right. What we're going to do is I think I'm going to go back to the last autosave and see where that leaves me. Yeah, I can't save in the elevator. Uh... So... I'm not quite sure where I am currently. But uh, I don't know what was up with the elevator and I couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> uh, being trapped in the elevator forever is not a good idea. Alright, bloodstains. Bloodstains are missing. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? No. Mm -hmm. Never mind. I'll be here. Is the quest still open? Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's do this different. I'm going to follow my original theory. Hello, you did it. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? I think you're the real Shakuz. Ezra was embezzling your money. That's why you killed him and framed Keith. You were so close, detective. It's a shame. Aha. Uh -huh. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little longer. Oh, well. Had to end eventually, I suppose. This doesn't have to end in more violence, detective. Just walk away. I'll leave, and you can tell them I escaped. Ezra? You're a 
alive. Well, congratulations on catching up, detective. Yes, I've been masquerading as Juliana for some time now. What's it going to be, detective? Join me in getting rich or die defending some outdated ideal? Why did you kill Juliana? I hadn't planned on it, but Juliana figured out what I was doing and had to be dealt with swiftly. I thought I could get a bit more money out of this place before making my escape. Well... You've been squeezing this place for cash for 200 years? Cash that's not even any worth anything? What? Not a chance. Your murder spree stops here. Then let us end this. You didn't know the names of the cat. We'll be taking that. Yeah, an IV bag, you can keep that. <clears throat> 500 pre-war money? I was right. I found the killer. It was Ezra. He killed Juliana and took her place to hide his tracks. My word! I never thought Mr. Parker was capable of something like this. He attacked me, but it's over now. Your residence, you're safe. There you are, detective. Payment for your services and a bonus for uncovering such a heinous plot. I don't think we could have done it without you. Right. Well. That's a win. I can't say there was anything worth investigating over there again, so we're not going to go back and do that. Oh. Little concierge keys. Alright. I thought it was maybe safe deposit boxes for a moment. Or post boxes. I used to live in an apartment building with, apart with, with, with mailboxes like that. So there's a brain dead part two. Huh. Are we done here then? I think we are. Right, this time before we get in the elevator, we're going to save. And in fact, this is probably a good point to leave the episode. Because God help us if we're stuck in the elevator again. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.